Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number two. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 135, Chapter 00, you can either go to YouTube and click on uh, the YouTube Excel is Fun channel. There's the address right there. And click on this link right here. And then all the way at the bottom, Control N, there's the Business Math Series. If you're in my class at Highline, just go to our website and download it. Hey, in this video, we've got to talk about the most important symbol in Excel, the e equal sign. An equal sign allows us to create a formula. Now to create a formula with operators, that's like plus, subtraction, multiplication, and cell references, you always type an equal sign first. And then we'll click on cells with our mouse and type operators. Hey, let's try it. We're going to try each one of the operators, minus, plus, divide, multiply, exponents, and parentheses. Let's click in this cell right here. And the symbol that tells Excel, please do a calculation, is the equal sign as the very first character in the cell. Now we'll take our cursor and click on that. And then I'm going to do my plus symbol on my number pad and then click right there. Now there are a number of ways to enter formulas. If you hit enter, your cursor goes down. I'm going to click here and hit F2. If you want to put the formula in the cell and go to the right, you hit Tab. If you are, I'm going to hit, click in the cell and hit F2. That puts it in edit mode. If you're building formulas up, though, instead of hitting Enter, you can hit Shift Enter. It puts the formula in the cell and goes up one. Now let's do our next calculation, 2 plus 2. Hey, wait a second. I'm like doing the creative accounting they did in the 90s. I meant to do subtraction here. Look at that. That's what all the accountants did in the 90s, right? The people at Enron and, and all the uh, insurance companies and banks in the 2007 and 8 crisis, right? Uh, when there were subtractions, they just added stuff. Right, so instead of zero, they got four. All right, well, we're not going to do that here. We're going to try to stick to the rules of math. All right, let's do some adding. Equal sign is the first character. Click on the cell plus, and I'm going to click on that cell right there. Then I'm going to shift enter. Now, so far we've done equal sign, and then we used our mouse to get cell references. Now, I'd like to show you an alternative to the mouse. You still have to type in equal sign as the first character, but as soon as you have that character in the cell, your arrow keys, the arrow navigation keys, they are in between the regular keypad and the number keypad. You see an up arrow, a down arrow, left arrow, right. Above those arrows are things like the home key and the end key. Watch this. I'm going to hit left arrow. And then I'm going to do division, which is a forward slash. Again, I'm going to get it from my number pad. And then I'm going to use my arrow key. Now, if you have to choose between a mouse and an arrow, if your cell references um, the cells that have the input data for your formula are close, then the arrow keys are always faster than switching to the mouse. Uh, if they're far away, then usually the mouse is faster. All right, I'm going to hold Shift and hit Enter. Now let's do multiplication. Equals that cell right there times asterisk. I got mine from the number pad and then arrow, arrow. Shift, Enter. Now, I want to just show you here, um, we have 2 times 2 equals 4, but what if we went ahead and changed that to 5? What's 5 times 2? Because we made a formula and we have our variable data in cells, when I hit Tab, the formula updates. That is the beauty of Excel. Now, let's do exponents. What in the world is an exponent? There it is. That's a caret symbol. Uh, shift. Six is how you get a carrot. Now you know why Bugs Bunny is so good at math, right? Because he's got this little carrot here for the hard stuff, the exponents. Hey, two raised to the two power in math. It, here it is in Excel. It means this little two says, hey, look at the big thing and list it that many times. So that's why we put a two and a two. We listed it two times because the little one told us to do that. And then we put a multiplication symbol in between each. So let's try that. 2 raised to the 2 power means 2 times 2, which is 4. Equals 2, and I'm going to shift caret, and then get that right there. Now I want to try something uh, different. I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to uh, type 2, and then a 3, and then a space, equals space 2 caret 3. Now I'm going to come back over here and highlight this little 3, and I'm going to, uh, in 2007, go up to, 
Uh, let's see, something like this. Uh, increase font size, no. I don't even know where it is because I know the keyboard shortcut. I don't know where it is. Let's try this one. Oh, no, that didn't. That's subscript. The keyboard shortcut is Alt-O-E. I'm going to come down and uh, click in this cell right here. And I want to do 2, a 3, a space, and then equals space, and then 2, caret, shift 6, 3. Now I want to highlight this because I want to show you how to make a notation like that. Um, in 2007, you can go to the home, and then this right here, this opens up the uh, format cells dialog box. Um, and we'll show you that just in a moment. Uh, in earlier versions, you go to Format Menu and then Format Cells. There's a keyboard shortcut, and I'm going to use those in this class predominantly because in the long run, if you learn all your keyboard shortcuts, you will blow anyone away using Excel in terms of how fast you can do it. Later in this class, we'll have some astounding examples of how something that may take uh, 20 seconds you can do in less than one second. All right, you ready? Control-1. Control-1 opens Format Cells dialog box. I'm going to do superscript, and that means uh, to raise to the third power here. And now I'm going to hit Tab. Pretty cool. Now let's do it. Um, uh, um, my input numbers, uh, I'm going to call this the base, and then Enter. And this is going to be the exponent. I don't know how to spell. And luckily, I can hit F7 in the middle of uh, editing, and it'll check for me. F7 is a keyboard shortcut for spell check. Now, um, notice we put our labels here. I'm going to go up here and get this. This button uh, you can find in earlier versions on the uh, toolbar. Now, the base we're going to say is 2, and the exponent is going to be 3. Now, I'm going to click in this cell and hit F2. That puts it in edit mode, and I'm, I'm going to type equal uh, space equals space. Now, remember what this means, base 2, exponent 3. The 3 says, hey, take three of those bases. So I'm going to put a 2, a space, a 2, a space, a 2. So that's what the 3 means. Take the base and list it three times. And then the fact that we're doing exponents means in between each of the numbers, we're going to have a multiplication symbol. And that's what, exponent, that's what an exponent is. Two, and so now we can do our little formula. Equals 2 caret 3. And I guess 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. All right, um, let's do our last little formula because uh, later, next uh, video, we'll learn about order of operations. And we're going to have to know how to do parentheses. Here's the deal. Um, we want to do the adding before we do the multiplying. So in Excel, that means you have to have parentheses. Now, we'll talk in great detail later about order of operations. But let's just see that parentheses are OK to use in formulas. Equals, and then open parentheses. Click on your 2, plus 2, close parentheses. The fact that parentheses around are around 2 plus 2 says in math and Excel, please do this calculation first. And then I'm going to go multiplication and click on my third 2. Now, what is it? We can do it in our head. 2 plus 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. And just to show you that that would uh, be a different answer, if we go down here and do uh, 2 plus 2 times 3, and um, Um, I forget how to spell multiplicand, but here's the add in 2, 2, 3. Right, there's our input numbers, and then let's come up here and do our formula. 2 plus 2 times 3. Later we'll see that why this is true, but you have to do multiplication before adding, so it's 2, time, uh, two times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8. Actually, uh, let's change that. Let's do um, uh, 2 here and make this a 2, and then that means that it is uh, whoop, 2. That means it's 6, because we're going to um, not be allowed to do the addition first. So it'll be 2 times 2 is 4, plus 2 will give us 6. And that's different than when you put parentheses. All right, uh, our next video will be order of operations. See you next video.